thought I'd make a quick video on how I kind of feed my bees a little bit here and a strategy I've used uh, to help prevent a problem I've developed lately. Um, some of you may remember that uh, this particular hive right here, something has stolen that jar right off the top of it. I've been having issues with that, some kind of armor or something doing that. This is normally how I feed my, my bees with the top feeders. Um, I have a, I guess a two and three quarter inch hole drilled on the top. Stick the jar in there, it works perfectly. The little holes in the top of the lid, or in the lid of the mason jar. Flip it upside down, there you go. Um, but something was taking these jars and putting them down in the woods. So this is how I normally do it. And what I found seems to work quite well is, I put the strap right over the top of the jar like this that holds the lid on and the jar on. And I did this a week ago with several of them and they seem to all be in place. Still got to feed a bunch of these, but you can see I've got them strapped down. Um, then I open feed. I think the same barman. I put three five gallon buckets out here last week for them. These were the bees that were starving up here when I came and checked on them. They just didn't have hardly any food in the hives. Not a whole lot's been happening up here. So you can see where they had dumped my buckets over here. Either they dumped the buckets out, the buckets were turned over right in this area. I had two buckets up here by this tree. So I don't know if the bees got it all before they dumped them over, if they dumped them over early in the game last week, but I've got a new strategy here as well. Um, just using my open feeder here. I call it trash feeding. I got a video on this. See the food down in there, the sugar water down in there. Put pine straw on the top, and as the bees go down amongst the pine straw, they have a place to, for their feet to uh, be, and so they don't fall and drown into the sugar water. And now if you think it's going to rain, you can always take this and you can put it over the top, kind of mash it down in the back like that. And then I'll grab a stick or something, kind of like this maybe. And I'll put it there like that so it stays open for sure. And that allows the bees to get into the sugar water. And uh, hopefully with that strap around the tree, um, Whatever it is that's been fooling with my sugar water won't make off with it. We'll see what happens. I'm going to give this a try. Um, hopefully the bees got most of it last week, but I really just don't know because I'm not up here that much. So anyway, the way I mix my feed up, right now this time of the year I'm using one-to-one -one sugar water. And I'm putting uh, Beekeeper's Choice in it. It's really good stuff. It's kind of like Honey Bee Healthy. I think it's, it's got a little different formula, but it's a similar type product. The bees love it. I just put it in there by directions. And then I put, also I use Amino B. It's a product that you can buy as well. You can find it online. And I put those two products in there and it seems to work really well. That is a protein source that you can mix in with your sugar water. And the, uh, the Beekeeper's Choice is the main nutritional supplement um, that I use. And so it seems to work well. The bees love it. And hopefully this setup's gonna work. I do know that the straps on the jars down there worked well this past week and I'm pretty sure that the animal isn't going to be able to get rid of this, uh, pull this bucket out from that strap right there. I think we're going to be in good shape. So coming back over here, um, anyway this white box right here is the swarm I just picked up on my way up here the first swarm catch of the year in a, in a swarm trap that I know of. Um, and you see the bees going in and out of it. So, haven't been in it yet. I won't go in it for a little while. And uh, we'll see how they do. All right, guys, just thought I'd do this short video on how I feed with my sugar water, the couple different ways I do it. And uh, once again, in review, I, I normally do it just like this. But if you got something stealing your sugar water off the top, which I guess is probably, my guess is a raccoon, but who knows. You can strap it down like that and it works well. And I open feed or trash feed using the bucket with the pine straw on top. I would recommend pine straw, guys. Leaves, they seem to sink or something. A lot of bees will drown if you use leaves. So um, pine straw seems to work a little better. But I'm going to get this finished up here. Got to get these bees fed in one more bee yard. And, uh, and it's getting dark, so I got to hustle. It's, like, it's going to be dark before too long. I gotta get this done. All right, guys, take care if you like this video. Uh, if you like my channel, if you uh, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and then hit that bell if you want to see more videos from me in the future. 
Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.